In this video, we're going to look at how to design a flyer like this. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel once again. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button. If you're old here, thank you so much for coming back again. So Ghana is having an intercessory prayer for the nation today and I just decided to come up with this flyer and I decided to share the tutorials with you. So yes, a link to all the resources that I used will be linked up in the description. You can check it out and for clarity's sake, I've got the test over here as well. So I'm just copying and pasting them. Now let's head into Photoshop and get some things done. Alright, so here in Photoshop, the first thing that I'll do is I'll go to file and the new and then I'm going to create a new document. I made this strictly for the social media use, so you can just go ahead and input 4x4 four four inches. Increase the resolution a little bit and then go ahead to click OK. You are supposed to have something like this and then the first thing that we're going to do is we add a gradient. Now, if you watch a couple of my videos, you know that adding gradients and solid colors are one of the few things that I'm fond of doing because it is so much easier to change the colors. So you choose any gradient at all. These are the colors that I'm using. I'm basically trying as much as possible to use the Ghana colors. That is the red, the yellow, and then the green. And then I'll go ahead and I'll click OK. So OK from here. Next off, I'll go back to my resources and I have this purple abstract background over here. I'll drag and drop it inside of Photoshop. I'll make sure that it is around this side because I want it to cover just this side. I'll double click on it, right click and rasterize the layer and then I'll press Ctrl Shift and then U to desaturate it and then I'm going to set this the blending mode to soft light. I'll add a layer mask over here and then I'm going to brush off this side like that and brush off this side as well just to make sure that the edges are not that hard. So next off, I'll go back to the resources again and then I have this all hands lifted up in the air. I'll drag and drop that also into Photoshop and then I'm going to double click over here. I'll hold shift and drag it up on, on top over here because it is sort of an intercessory prayer, okay? And we are to pray for the land. So I'll go ahead and then I'll right click and rasterize the layer. I'm going to set this blending mode also to soft light. And then I'll add my layer max again, use my brush tool and then I'm going to soften the edges also like this. So one thing that I can do from here is I can try to reduce this opacity so that I can just see the abstract design over here. Now this prayer is in collaboration with our brothers, the Muslim society or the Islam society. So I've got their background also over here. We are all praying earnestly for the nation today. So I'm going to drag this below here and then I'm going to right click and rasterize the layer. Set this also to soft light and then I'm going to add a layer max to this. So I don't want the gray or yeah, the gray part. So I'm going to brush this one off so that it doesn't conflict with that of the abstract background and even with that of the praise or the Christian background. So this is going to basically be the background over here. Next off at the extreme right, I want to add a couple of rectangles. But then before I'll go to view and then add some new guidelines to help us out. So I'm going to set a 50% guideline over here. And then I'm going to divide this one as well into three. So I'm going to set a 33.3 .3 in the horizontal vertices. So 33.3%. Okay. And then I'm going to set another 66.6 .6 in the horizontal vertices as well. And then I'm going to click OK. So I'll go for the rectangle to draw a rectangle over here, a very small one like that. And then I'm going to duplicate it. Make sure that the first one is at the 33.3% guideline. And then I'll duplicate that, drag it over here. We're going to change that particular one very soon. OK, so I can drag this beneath of it like that and make sure that it is over here and then i'll make a duplicate again and drag this one to the bottom part i'm going to change these colors to red yellow and then green over here so you change the first one to red over here 
change the second one which is supposed to be this one to yellow and then we're going to change the last one to green so next off i'm going to as well draw a circle over here so i'm going to pick my ellipse tool and i'm going to create a circle basically like you can create it in here you don't need a perfect circle you just need something that is stretched to be kind of a circle like this one okay so i'm going to create one over here and then i'm going to shift it to this side and then you realize that i drew it underneath of the rectangles that i created so this is going to take the color yellow over here so i'm going to select yellow and then i'll press ctrl j to make a duplicate of that one drag it here and then i'm going to change this one to white very soon you're going to place the pictures on this one so you get to understand it very well and then you take your time to position it right over here like this now you can group all of these ones and then you call them the background next off i'll go back to my resources and i have this code of arms over here so i'll drag it into photoshop and then i'm going to press ctrl t to transform it out i'll hold shift and then drag it close it up and i'm going to send it to the extreme top left so i'll take my time to position it over here and then i'll go back to the resources again i have another vector file so i'll drag and drop it inside of photoshop again i'm going to press c that is for crop crop this one out and then i'm going to select my magic eraser tool so with a left click just once it is going to get rid of the background i'll send this into photoshop and i'm going to position it at the extreme top right so i'll press ctrl t and i'm going to transform this one out like this and make sure that i position it over here i press ctrl l to make sure that the levels is activated and i'm going to add a couple of levels to this one so that i can get the punchy colors over here so from here all that we're going to do next will be the test and then the image so first things first i'm going to select my test tool from here so i'll go for the test tool and then i'll be using a couple of fonts i'll link them in the description if you want to download them so the first one is poppins i'll go into my resources and i'm going to select the ministry of chieftaincy and i'm going to paste it and then i'm going to press ctrl a change this one to medium over here press ctrl t and i'm going to transform this one out so it is going to be something smaller like this I think it looks quite smallish okay so we can try to make this one oh so i didn't choose the medium so the medium is cool over here and then i'll press ctrl a to make sure that it is centered like that and then you press ctrl d to deselect next i'll press ctrl j and then i'm going to drag this beneath like that select my test tool again and i'm going to edit this one to present so i'll press ctrl a to select all the colors and i'll change the color from the color picker to yellow next off i'm going to select the toggle character over here for this one and then i'm going to increase or open up the tracking so that it will space out for me like that i'll then click ok or take this one over here and then push the present also to top like this i'll go back to my ministry of chieftaincy press ctrl j to duplicate and then i'll bring this one over here i'll go back to my resources and then i have national day off so basically it is going to be a two-in-one thing so i'll select the national day off come back to this one select my test tool and then i'm going to press ctrl j press ctrl v to paste this one i'm going to select it all and i'm going to change this one to herbetical inserts a link to download all of these will be in the description don't forget so i'm going to press ctrl t transform this one out like this national day off and then i'll press ctrl a to make sure that this one is centered and then i'll press ctrl d now i'll duplicate the same thing push it down a little bit like that go back to my resources or my test and i'm going to select the fasting and prayer so i'm going to select this one again press ctrl v and i'm going to paste this one out so i'll drag it over here like i said and what i'm going to do next is i'm going to select this fasting and prayer change the color back to yellow 
now i'll go back to my national day off and now right click blending options and then i'm going to add a gradient to it so i'll pick the gradient overlay make sure that the default gradient overlay is on top and i'll decrease the opacity a little bit i'll go ahead and add a couple of drop shadow to it and increase the size a little bit like this and then i'll click ok from here and then i'll turn this one off so i can select the national and fasting and then push it up a little bit over here to create space for whatever that we want to do next now next off i want to add my team to it so i'll go for the test tool over here and i'm going to type the team over here so i'm going to close back the tracking like this and then i'll change the color to white and then i'll press ctrl t to transform this one out press ctrl a and make sure that this is centered now what i can do is i can bring this one down a little bit like this and then i'll go for my rectangle too i'm going to create a rectangle around here make sure it is a little bit tiny like that and then the color is already white so you can basically leave it like that if this one still looks big you can just try to close it up a little bit by using the transformation controls that is ctrl t so i'll press ctrl j and then i'm going to duplicate that one and then send it over here now i'll go back to my theme and then i'll press ctrl j to duplicate that one drag it right underneath of it over here like that and then i'll go back to my resources select god here as copy it and then i'll select this one and then i'm going to paste it so i'm going to change this one to uh, semi bold like that and i'll press ctrl t to transform this one out a little bit so it goes like that one and then i'll press ctrl j to duplicate this drag it beneath of it i'll go back to my test and i'm going to select and heal our, our land so i'll go back to the documents that we're working on and i'm going to paste this one so i'll select it all and paste it like that now next off i'm going to try to make this one a little bit smaller and then i'll go back to copy the rectangle that we created again drag it over here press ctrl t and i'm going to open this one up so you make sure that this one is over here this can this can be very tricky oh god so i'm going to open it up like this <laughs> and then i'll double click to check this one press ctrl a and then this one is going to be centered so that we can have the theme and everything also over there like that so lastly on the team i'm going to copy this and heal our land drag it beneath of it so you can see that for test you can basically be copying and pasting and it will make your life so easier and making it work faster in photoshop so i'll copy the second chronicle 714 paste it over here select it all and i'm going to change this one back to the medium i'm going to press ctrl t to transform it out and i'm going to transform it to be a bit smaller like this and you need to change the color to yellow over here so change it to the yellow and then you click ok so from the rectangle to copy to the team over here you can just group that one out by pressing ctrl g and then you can name this one theme next off i'm going to bring in the images of the fathers of the land so i'll go back to my resources i intentionally put them together like this got rid of the background so that this can be way easier if you want to know how to get rid of backgrounds i have a video on that so you can just basically check them out so i bring them inside of here and then i position them over here press ctrl j and i'm going to make sure that they are centerized like that so you can push them down a little bit like this so next off i'm going to add their names so i'm going to add a test over here so the test will be around this side go back to the resources or the test and copy the name over here and i'm going to paste it press ctrl a to select it all and change the color to white and click ok so i'm going to change this particular font to a font called acrobat so that it can be a bit small so i'm going to select this one change the font type to bold and press ctrl t to transform this one out like that so press own will be here like this and 
I press Ctrl J to duplicate that one, send it over to the extreme right, and I'm going to select that of His Excellency Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, the Vice President, and I'm going to paste that one also. Now, the last thing that we would want to add is the date, which happens to be today, the 25th of March 2020, as I'm recording this video. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click. And select my rounded rectangle create a small rounded rectangle over here and then i'm going to maintain the white color of course so i can bring it over here and then i'll go ahead and select my rounded rectangle if you are using if you are using photoshop versions like 2019 and 2020 you might not have to go through this stress of course and then i'm going to leave that one to over here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease the opacity of this one, make it about 20%. Press Ctrl T and make sure that this is at the very edge of whatever that we want to do over here. And then I'm going to make sure that the top one also is over here like that. So next up, I'm going to right click this one and rasterize the layer. Come over here, hold Ctrl and then I'm going to select the rounded rectangle. So I'm going to make a selection of the rounded rectangle like this. I press Ctrl Shift and then I to invert the selection. And whilst we are on this layer, I'm going for my eraser tool and then I'm going to brush off this area, just this area that we don't really like. So when that is done, I'm going to set this back to 100%. And then you realize that it has created a nice shape for us. So I'm going to hold Ctrl and select the rounded rectangle plus the original rectangle press ctrl e and then i'm going to merge them out you can go ahead and right click on this one blending options and then you're going to give this one a color like this so it is going to be a red color you click ok ok and then you can press ctrl t transform it flip it vertically like this and then you can flip it horizontally again it doesn't necessarily have to be like this one so it depends on where you want the angle to be and then inside of that you're going to add the date yeah so basically that's it that's how i came up with this particular national day of fasting and prayer flyer please don't forget to pray for ghana don't forget to pray for the world don't forget to pray for your country if there is a man to pray there is definitely a god to answer thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and then i'll see you in the other one innocent here and bye